instant karma. I am not accepting that there is echo going on here. Again. Again. All right, you know, right, you I've, know decided I've decided that there's some, that sort, there's of some sort of weird, strange, strange curse, curse around the around technical aspects the technical of the show. Now, I'm, show. Hearing now I'm hearing an echo. I don't know if you're hearing an echo. If you're hearing an echo, let me know. But somehow but I've got, somehow uh, I've still, got another still another feedback loop. Feedback loop. And uh, I, don't and, uh, I don't know from. where it's coming from. I can look around, I can look and, around see. and see. Do I have screens, Do I have screens somewhere? somewhere? I don't think so. Let's see. I'm just going to delete, 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 delete. 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 See, I've got a delete. rhythm, rhythm going, with echo, going with my echo. You don't hear it, just you don't FYA. Hear it. So now I'm just really so making an idiot of myself because really Lynn, Lynn says, you know, she's not hearing the echo. Not hearing the echo. So, you know, I'd really so, like know, to be able really to start like one, of one of these and shows get and get into the content without having to deal with this. So I'm going to, once again, just take a minute or two to figure out why I might be hearing myself in my headphones and then we're going to get into the meat because ladies and gentlemen i just have to tell you today is jam packed with amazing stuff and i and i want to address what's on your mind right now but first i must stop this echo so let me just see what i might be forgetting forgetting close this down and that's all it was was an open window now ladies and gentlemen we can get into the show i'm glad to have you here for the Bob Doyle Show. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Bob Doyle, and this is a program that airs sporadically. Yes, I agree. Not as often as I thought I was going to, but I did. I have made commitments, ladies and gentlemen. I have drawn lines in the sand. And I have scheduled, in addition to this show, this extravaganza, this showcase of wonder and magic that you are about to be a part of. And really, I hope you're sitting down because truly this, you know how it is when your life changes and you go, wow, I wish I'd been sitting down for that. Okay, so that's what's getting ready to happen right now. Like by the end of this 30 minutes or however long I go, hi, Star. Nice to have you here. Everybody say hello. Let's, let's all say hello to one another. I see, look at who's here. Marion's here. Star Dex has a cookie monster for an avatar. So that makes them automatically lovable and cute and cuddly coco is in the room coco you see her little icon over here along the top she's got the red hair she's the one who made me schedule three or four shows to draw this line in the sand so that bob doyle no longer sits there and suffers over this show and just does it for the love of it so along those lines ladies and gentlemen may i first address what i know is on your mind you're looking at this, you're looking at the screen right now and you're saying, Bob, what's, there's something different. There's something different about your headphones. The, the padding isn't quite as shiny as it normally is. I know. And I, and I need to address this because obviously you're going to be so distracted by this that, you know, you won't be able to, you won't be able to part participate or really absorb the rest of the incredibleness that's going to happen. See the padding, see stars like, yes, that's what it was. <sighs> Well, I, okay, so let me tell you what happened. The, the reason that that is is because I've had to buy new headphones. These are new, and the reason that they're new is because I, in an act of unprovoked violence and rage, tore the headphones off of my head and smash them into this uh, cabinet. With great vigor, I might add. And this mouse too, by the way, that I hold in my hand that you can barely see is lucky to be alive from the same outburst. You'll see that Lynn said true story. She was in the next, next room when this happened and so, <laughs> 
here's what's left. Now, this would be the time in the show that it would be really freaking awesome if I had produced some sort of video montage, you know, memories with the headphones, slow motion, me reading and holding the headphones and saying, thank you, headphones, right? That would have been hilarious. But look, who has the time to be that hilarious in this day and age? Not me. But anyway, I just wanted to say an official goodbye. I've had these for 10 years or so. And in one moment of uncontrollable emotion, these that never did a thing to harm me in my life were always there for me each and every day, each and every session. Whenever I needed them, they were there. These are Sennheisers for crying out loud. These are nice. They never once went out on one side. There was never a buzz. There was never a hum. There was never that annoying thing that I had to jiggle. The cord stayed good the entire time. Oh, sure, the padding got a little worn and started to come off on the back of my neck every now and then, but is that a reason to kill? No, no, it's not. It's not. And this is something I'm going to have to live with for well, the rest of my life. I know. Let it go, Bob. It was an accident. It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. You try telling these headphones that it's okay. They won't hear you. You know why? Because I killed them. That's why. All right. Well, whatever. I got new ones now. So it's all good. So ladies and gentlemen, what do we got here? We've got a few people in the room. And of course, what you're doing right now is you are, a, you, you can't even see your hand because it's flying so quickly over to share last 30 seconds like I'm doing right now. And now I'm describing the moment. How, whoops, I'm typing on the wrong keys. How can I possibly describe, I'm typing, you should be typing this too. Describe the magic that is occurring right now. And if you want to be like me, you misspell occurring. Okay. And then I've got, I've got both Twitter and Facebook checked. I've got add a link and I'm clicking share now, ladies and gentlemen. Should we bring the music back? No, I don't think we need the music. Do you? I don't. I think we're okay without it. I think we've got enough drama in just the sharing that, uh, yeah. So anyway, look, you guys. Yeah, no, I did have to, by the way, I did have to brag about my Sennheiser. <gasps> oh my God, I forgot to make coffee before the show. I have no beverage. I've got no, you know how when you're hosting something, you know, and every now and then you have to go, you know, contemplative thought and whatever, or listen to the guest and you take a little casual sip. Well, I, you know, I'm really good about remembering my coffee. I've only had three cups today. Actually, I have, truth be told, and why can't I, why shouldn't I be honest with you? I think I should. I think we should base this relationship on honesty. I'm, <laughs> call me old fashioned. Hey, don't call me old fashioned. That's a figure of speech. There's coffee in here and it's got a little warmth to it. You know what? I just forgot about it. Don't even drink it. Oh yeah. Just, I just bring it to my mouth. Pretend. Mm, that's good coffee. And then that's when the guest would say, you know, you don't have to pretend so much that you're talking over my answer to the question you just asked me. But, you know, I'm not a very good interviewer. What do you, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not a nice person. I was told that today. I really feel like telling you that story. I really feel like telling you that story. And, and really what I should do on this show is do whatever I feel like. I, I can't, I just can't tell you. I know that every time I do this show, I talk about the angst around doing the show and that that's going to wear really thin if it hasn't already. But the, but the point is, if, if there is a point that I'm really committed over the course of these four scheduled shows, thank you, Coco, to relax and just do what I want. Hey, by the way, someone just propped and I think that's a darn fine idea and that's going to be Jeffrey Miller. I recognize the suit. Thank you for being here, Jeffrey. Thank you for your support. You're always there for me on my timeline and Facebook. And don't think I don't appreciate it, because I do. Oh, I do. 
Appreciate each and every one of you listening and sharing, commenting, being a part. Speaking of being a part, you know, this show is about, truly, even though I think as of today, I, uh, this fourth show, I've only brought on one person for a moment, this show truly is about your participation, your interactivity. I have so many wonderful plans for all of you who want to participate and who have a creative spirit and want to have fun. Oh, sure, I could do this every day, 30 minutes, just talk. <laughs> who wouldn't want to hear that? I know I would. I tune in every time I talk. I can't put myself down. Uh, but I want, to, I want your involvement. I want to bring you in. I know my seat's locked right now. So you're saying, well, Bob, that's, that's all very fine and good for you to say that you want you know, our participation, but why do you have us locked out of the room? Oh, you got me. I don't know. I don't know. Look, there's so much to talk about that I just don't even know where to start. But I will say this. One of the most fun things about this show, doing this show, is coming up with the titles. Now, before, I never really did. This is the first show that I had an official title called, of course, Instant Karma. Now, if you're waiting for me to explain that, you're going to be waiting a while because the, 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 this, the titles of the show, if they do ever accidentally pertain to the content of the show, well, then that's a miracle. Um, I just like coming up with titles. So then I thought, well, what if you... I know, I'm in love with Lynn too right now, Star. Sorry, man. I loved her first. And I do her dishes, so I win. Um, but anyway, it's good to have you here because it's Cookie Monster Face. Who doesn't love a Cookie Monster Face? All right. So I thought it would be fun if... Uh, if I opened up the title creation to you, the viewer. Now, I can't do everybody's all the time because I just said that half my fun was coming up with the title. So most of the time, I'm going to come up with them. I've already got them scheduled for the next three shows. But if somebody sends me a title that I think, oh, yeah, that's good, then what I want to do is I want to put that up there. You know when I do the titles, right? I go... So that would be your title. And I'd even put your name under it. Come on, now you're invested in the show. Where else are you going to get that kind of uh, entertainment value for your dollar? You have paid your dollar, right? Everybody paid their dollar to get in here? Well, I hope so. show doesn't pay for itself, you know. I so want to tell you about the t-shirts. I so want to. Not so much, you know, I remember how... the. Because I know you've watched all the shows. I know that you have them burned to DVD and you listen to them constantly and watch them. But we talked about having a, sh a shirt that kind of looked like this, right? Bob Doyle Show shirt. Wouldn't that be a great idea? Well, they exist. But I got to tell you, I am embarrassed about the page that they're on. Look, I think you all know that I am committed to quality in every single thing I do. If this show doesn't communicate that, I... <laughs> So I've got these shirts for sale, and there's too many of them. I mean, if I was to send you over there right now, you'd say, Bob, really? Because, first of all, every style of shirt imaginable is there. And I should probably simplify. And the page is just butt ugly, man. I don't The, the technology behind the, the store over there for customizing it is like 1906. And it's just, you know, I'm a pretty savvy web design type of person sometimes ish but i can't do anything with that and it looks terrible but the idea see is shirts everybody wears a bob doyle shirt post their picture on instagram with hashtag bob doyle show <sighs> am i a genius or what and on facebook and then you then are entitled to some sort of reward or recognition i don't know what it is yet i'm just coming up with this this week right all I know is I want to see people wearing Bob Doyle shirts. If I could give them to you, I would. It's not about the money. But did I mention this show doesn't pay for itself? Okay. Um, look, I know right now, what, there's eight of you, nine of you. I don't even know right now because i got one screen blocking the number of people here. It's not like, you know, this is about selling T-shirts. But wouldn't it be just cool to have the little club? Hey, by the way, over on Facebook, uh, 
Is that what it's called? Facebook? Yeah. Facebook, the fan page over there for Bob Doyle's show. We are pumping in content like crazy over there. We want you to be a part of that. And that's facebook.com slash Bob Doyle show. Hi, Coach Nori. Nori, one of my boundless living coaches in my other world. She's a an awesome law of attraction coach, as is Marion, who may still be in the room. They're both coaches. My coach, you see what's happening? My coaches are here to support me in my non in my non law of attraction endeavor. Because they understand the importance of being able to express yourself creatively in your life and finding an outlet for that. This kind of stuff would probably not be appropriate on a stage talking about the law of attraction. I'm just guessing I could be wrong. In fact, from now on, this is exactly what I'm going to do when I talk about the law of attraction. So see, I just, I just completely, you watch transformation occur. Who's inspired? One, two, three, four, all of you. Well, outstanding. That's terrific. The other thing I want you to know about this program, and I know that we keep talking about what is this program going to be, but look, it's, we're, we're in the infancy stages. So a lot of this is, it's going to be that. You know, in fact, you may tune in one day to this very show, and this is the show. I don't know. Uh, and that's the show. All right, I wouldn't really do that. But I am contemplating things like just having an entire show. In fact, next Thursday show, next Thursday's show, which you can subscribe to because it's free and you have a mouse. Is, uh, on a, is in the evening, 5 o'clock Pacific time, because that's when I sort of settle into, hey, I'm feeling kind of uke-ish. I feel like playing the ukulele now. And next Thursday show will be very uke-centric. It may be that's all it is. It'll be me sitting here playing the uke. Not as a concert. I mean, I may play you a song that's finished or two, but it may just be me noodling and sharing with you the creative process. I mean, I'm not blocking you out. I want interaction. I want to talk to you. Of course, that's what the beauty of this. So I want you to show up if that kind of thing is interesting to you. But I've really got to get over this thing that i got to make everybody happy every show. Because you know what? I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. Well, maybe I will. But I can't assume that everyone's going to want to watch me play the ukulele for 30 minutes or more. Sometimes I get into the groove, and who knows where it goes. But what a fun party to catch for that, wouldn't it? Like, hey, I caught a ukulele night. He played for 45 minutes. It was freaking awesome. Or something. That'd be a really nice review, too. Oh, I forgot to tell you the single most exciting new addition to this program. Are you ready? Are you ready? I need to know if you're ready. Do, I can't tell. Is anybody giving me props? I got 555 props, 58, 61, and it's all Nori doing it now. And Marion. See, my coach is there for me again. All right, anyway. This is so exciting for me. And I've posted this on Facebook. Seriously, you guys, follow me on Facebook. Oh, I want to give a shout out also real quick to the YouTube live audience. I know there are millions of you out there. And this is a conversation I want to have with all of you here watching me on Blab because it's, uh, you know, because of my commitment to excellence, technical and otherwise. So the new feature on this show that is completely 100% dependent on your participation is viewer mail. Viewer mail, Bob? That sounds crazy. Tell me more. I'm intrigued. All right. All right. Calm down. I'm going to tell you. So over at thebobdoyleshow.com. TheBobDoyleShow.com. The Bo okay. You'll see, and I would take you there now, but as we know from last week, because this show is currently streaming live on BobDoyleShow.com, we will get more echo and reverb. And I'm just not doing that. Feedback, not reverb. It's just annoying feedback. So I'm not doing that. But if you go there and you're going to look on the lower right-hand side of the page, and you're going to see these little buttons popping out, Leave audio or leave voice message, leave video message. Video message? What? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you what this means that you can do if you haven't filled in the blanks for yourself. You can go to BobDoyleShow.com, click either one of those buttons, do video. Come on, this is a video show. And make me a video with your viewer mail. Now, we know 
I hope by now, I hope our relationship has evolved to the point where you know that viewer mail doesn't have to be, you know, serious. Like, I wish you'd wear different clothing. Although that would be great if you did that, if it, you know, was creative. But I just, I just want to hear from you. And here's the beauty. Because of the amazing technology I have, when you leave viewer mail, well, the next time we do a show... I'm just dragging in your comments. Boom, we're all watching your viewer mail. That's right. You're making yourself a star. A star. Again, I know right now you're going, yeah, for seven people viewing. Would you get off the number of people viewing? Why are you badgering me about that? The replay numbers alone, astronomical. A year from now, when people find out about this, you mean he was doing this a year ago? I got to go check the archives. How do I find them? BobDoyleShow.com. But if you go there, expect for delays because the whole entire planet's going there right now and servers are crashing left and right. We just can't get enough of the replays. Particularly, Episode 4, Instant Karma. That was where it all turned around. (laughs) And you all can say that you were there. And you're right, thebobdoyleshow.com will work. It didn't work a week ago. Only bobdoyleshow.com worked. And Lynn said, get thebobdoyleshow.com right now. And because I do whatever Lynn says, I did, and I have. And now the coach, uh, the, the link that Nori posted works. See how Lynn and Nori were in cahoots, and I didn't even know it. But it explains so much. All right, so viewer mail. The interventionist. Interventionist? Is that what you do, Jeffrey? Could I just intervene here? That's like your job. You just burst into rooms. I'd like to intervene here if I may. I could do that job. I could be an interventionist. Just, just, just give me a room full of people. You know, let them be in the middle of something super important, like right at the critical decision. I will kick that door open and go, I'd just like to intervene here a minute. I don't know what to do after that, but I mean, I guess that's when I say, and here's Jeffrey, something like that. All right. So th- I'm doing this on Blab, right? And there's a million reasons to do it on Blab. Because first of all, this is where you guys are right now. So that makes sense. Because if I was doing it out by the pool, <laughs> this one guy out there with like a towel over his face, that, that's who'd be listening. So it's good that I'm doing it on Blab. The thing, the thing about Blab, can we be honest? And I love Blab. And, and if the Blab people are watching, this isn't a slam. They know. But the video and the audio quality on the other side, what you're viewing is not that great. It gets hung up. It, uh, how am I coming across, by the way? Am I smooth? Smooth? I hope. I hope I am. Anyway, but YouTube Live, which is happening right now over there, even though there's a delay because it's YouTube, Looks amazing. Sounds amazing. Okay, great. I'm glad to see that it's smooth as silk. What else could it be as smooth as? Let's play a little word game. Let's come up with three other things right now that it is as smooth as. Go. Hmm. All right. Well, I was expecting a little bit more audience participation. I know. I'm just kidding. I didn't give you any time. Smooth as silicon. Two more. I don't know why. Because I said three. I can't, you know, I, I'm committed Another line I drew in the sand. I need two more. Two more smooth zazz. All right. While we're waiting for small snail slime, but see, see, Nori, you already, you participated, you, you gave me silicon. I want someone else to step up to the plate and come up with something smooth ass. Velvet. Thank you. I'd like to intervene here and say velvet. Okay. Smooth as velvet. One more. I, you know, actually, I'm feeling like Smooth as Velvet is a future show show title. What do you think? I think so, too. I'm glad we can all agree on that. All right, where was I? I know I'm looking at this a lot, but, you know, that's just how I do things. It's so fun to see Cookie Monster appear in front of my face. I mean... It's like a, it's kind of like I'm doing a guest appearance on Sesame Street, which, of course, is just a matter of time. As soon as the Children's Television Network shop thing gets a load of this show, they're like, get him in here. He is the new whatever. I can be the new Bob. When I was a little kid, there was Bob, Bob McGrath. 
I think he passed on. I could be the new Bob on Sesame Street. That's because that's what they need. They need somebody who's sarcastic and aloof and uh, uh, a perfectionist. That's what they need. Right. Can't you act like the count? One. One viewer. Ah, 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 ah. Wouldn't that be fun? We should do a whole episode of the Bob Doyle Show where everybody has to be a Sesame Street character. I have to choose who I'm going to be, and I have to be it the whole time. And anytime someone comes onto the show, they have to be, they have to be a Sesame Street character. Now, come on. Now, if that isn't an idea, I would, I would regret a year later. I don't know what is. That's, that's truly one of those ideas that's like, seems cute right now, and we do it and have a lot of fun with it. But like the next month, I'd be like, what? Oh, geez, how did I? What happened? I got, I went FM radio on myself. That, that's the danger, see, because I came from radio 20 years ago. I jumped out of the talk radio world, did personal development, and now I'm jumping back in, and it's, it's hard not to go there. And I don't, you know, don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. All right. One of the other things I want you all to know is that while I have held this show the entire time myself for 26 minutes, without doing any interviews whatsoever. I haven't gone to Via Satellite. I haven't talked to anybody in the room, but I want to. I will. I'm going to bring somebody on here before this show's over. That's my commitment to you. And we're going to talk about something. And that's, that's final. Okay? Uh, wait a minute. I feel, I'd feel sorry for the one being Gargamel. Is that a new... Uh, is that a Sesame Street character? I've never even heard of Gargamel. The Smurfs? What... You, uh, Elmo. Okay. But you have to at least whoever, if you're the voice, you have to, I mean, if you, if you come on to be a person, you have to at least give it some half-ass try to imitate them. So when we do the Sesame Street show, Coco, you work on your Elmo. And of course, Cookie Monster will be Cookie Monster because you're committed, uh, to that anyway. All right. Uh, Smurfs though. I'm sorry. I, I can't do the Smurf thing. I just, I got a thing. I got a thing. I'm anti-Smurf. I've always been anti-Smurf. And I will always be anti-Smurf. Now look, I don't want you to start calling me some kind of a Trump. Okay? But the Smurfs? No. It's that annoying thing that everything is Smurf. It's just everything is Smurf. This is the Smurfiest show I've ever Smurfed. Ah! Get some writers! That just reminded me of another feature that Lynn and I talked about adding to this little program here. Has anyone shared recently? Because, you know, we're really getting into the meat of it now, aren't we? I mean, this is what you all came here for. But, but I'm going to have to use this show, unfortunately, at some point as a ranting ground. Look, the thing is, when I rant, when people rant, it's usually they're kind of, they're just, it's not really... A lot of times, they're not really in a conscious place. They're coming from a really different complaint and blah, 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 and I'm so right about this, and people need to know my opinion. That's, that's your basic rant. And I have a lot of rants in me that I don't do because <laughs> I'm Bob Doyle from The Secret, and you're not supposed to rant. You're not supposed to immerse yourself in those negative emotions. Why can't you just let it go? Use a release technique. Do something. Meditate. There's no need. Find the good. Ah! <laughs> joke right <laughs> look it's not deny it's we're all human beings and we all have these rants i don't care who you are i don't care who you are you've got something you want to rant about publicly not just to yourself not just to your neighbor it's not the same you got to be able to get out and rant huge right you gotta in the camera and really let it then now you've ranted it's not really out until you do that and so for the good of my own health and well-being and to share my amazing ideas on whatever it is I choose to rant about, there will be a segment in this program where I'm allowed, and Lynn has a great idea, set a timer, five minutes or however long, countdown. I got this long to be completely unconscious, a big whiny baby who wants to be right. Ah, oh, does that sound good or what? And if all goes well, then maybe if, if that becomes popular, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. 
If the cards and letters come pouring in saying, wow, the rant thing is awesome. How do we expand on that? Well, then that's when I involve all of you. And, and, and you guys get to come in and rant for, you get to rant for 30 seconds. I'm the host. I get to rant longer. But, you know, you plan your rant. And you jump in and you rant. Does that sound fun? Don't let you rant, Star? Is that just, is, that's insane? You know, the thing about, I mean, I, here's the thing about this show. It's an internet show. So, legally, whatever. You can say whatever you want, right? But at the same time, I'm not really into, uh, hey, what is this? Drop any link in here? Is that new? Uh, did you see me just squirrel? I just squirreled big time. I just want to see. Uh, Bob Doyle, show.com, boom, what happens there? Heads up, drop-ins won't show in recordings or audio archives yet, but we're working on it. Uh, now, wait, Star, no. No, 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 no. No porn links. This is your one warning. Here I thought, Cookie Monster, Cookie Monster. Unbelievable. All right, look. Yeah, so I don't know what that, I don't know what happened when I did that in there. I don't know if something popped in or dropped up. I don't know. What happened when I, I popped in the link? Did something happen? Did anything even happen? I don't know. All right. No, Star, star I'm telling you, if your next fun link, it, I'll bet you a, a $10 says I'm being Rickrolled right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click it. I'm going to see. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. I hope your guys' day has been going great. I okay, well, it's not that. But that's... How is that... Uh, how is that... This, this? Wait, is that you? I don't know. Anyway, all right. Well, we can all view this later, I suppose, if we want to. See, this is the day... This is why I'm a little... This is why I've been so hesitant about... No, and don't take this wrong, Star. It's just the uncertainty. Now, I know that's the excitement of live. Live! You don't know what you're going to get. You don't know who's going to say what. Anything can happen. Ah, that's the fun of it. And it's true. It is the fun of it. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, you want to keep the show. You want to keep it fun, right? No need to go off on all these porn journeys with Star. Now, there's another good show title. Porn Journeys with Star. I bet you people tune in. All right. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I, there's a little activity going on in the chat room, and that's fine. Boy, the color on my my camera is just popping in and out and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Guess what? Today, uh, I'm not going to go via satellite. I was all ready to. I got a guy I want to talk to, but um, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not. No technical tricks today. And I was going to do a uke time, but I'm not going to because you know why? Because I've been sitting here talking for 30 minutes. One of the things I but so I'm going to go ahead and finish this one little um. <laughs> I just saw a note of a topic that I wanted to bring up to talk about. But again, we've been 30 minutes, and so I'm going to let it go. But Tuesday again at uh, noon Pacific. Is that right? It, no, no, no. Tuesday is at 2 Pacific. Tuesday's the show is 2. Thursday, it's at 5 p.m. Pacific, and that's going to be the Uke-centric. And, uh, and then Saturday. Right back here again next week, and we'll see how many how the show has evolved in that course of time. If I like my T-shirt, you want to go see the T-shirt site? All right, since you're all begging, but I don't know. I I, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in this drop a link thing here again just to see, uh, and see what happens. No one told me what happens. It just says drop-ins won't show in recordings or audio, but I don't know what I don't know where they show. I don't know where they show. And I also have this amazing app I wanted to show you. So I've thrown everything out. Oh, it, it opens. Oh, really? It opens a window. Interesting. All right. Well, I have to check that out. All right. Uh, so does that, so did it go to the store and you see 8 million different types of shirts and, and the ugliest webpage on the planet? Is that what happened? Cause that's pretty cool. I, I don't, I, you know, but I don't know what happens. Uh, so what was I going to say? I don't know. Something amazing. Something amazing. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. I, I, there, I had this app I wanted to show you. It's freaking incredible. 
absolutely amazing, and I'm not going to show it to you. Ugh, bummer. Until Tuesday. I will show it to you on Tuesday. I promise. Tuesday for sure. And I'll talk to this guest who, who I've a, a, apparently bumped from the schedule. And, um, and then, we'll, what, now what's going on here? I've got, something's locked up on my computer. But of course. And, and because of it, it looks like I can't, I can't, uh, I can't end the show. Oh. Apparently I can. I know what it was. My hard drive. My external hard drives fall asleep all the time. Really annoys me. Because then I hit... I, All right, start. Stop causing trouble, mister. I know you're just trying to do whatever you do. Don't do this. All right, everyone, that's been the Bob Doyle Show. I think. I'm not sure if that was a show or not. But I'm going to say it was, and we will catch you on Tuesday at whatever time I said we'll catch you. Two, I think. Enjoy.